What's going on guys? This is the Vatera Ascender with the officially licensed 1968 Ford F100 body. Of course, the Ascender is a 110 scale four wheel drive rock crawler. Now, if you're familiar with this platform, a lot of this is gonna seem familiar to you, but this body is the main highlight of this truck right now with this officially licensed 1968 Ford F-150. Now the body looks pretty darn good. It comes with the cage on the back, similar to the K-10 with the aluminum panels. And then the body itself is Lexan with a two-tone paint color. And then we've got like a chrome uh, strip of trim going along the side there. Both sides looks pretty cool. Now on the windows, there's also decals kind of masking out um, the inside and just uh, providing some tint. Now we have our extra tire and extra wheel here on the back. These are glued tires and wheels. They are not bead locks, but they look good. The tire and wheel is very familiar to the Ascender line. Um, so no surprises there. Now one of the coolest things about this body is on the front we have actual light buckets for our headlights as well as our blinker lights or uh, parking lights, whatever you want to call those down below. Those are also buckets with LEDs. So now we've got running lights uh, in the front full time, which is pretty cool. On the back, there are no LEDs. Now taking a look inside the truck, it's an ascender. So let's pop the body off. And now with our lights inside, the body needs to be connected. There is an extra lead. It's super easy, but the body's been buttoned up inside fairly nice with those wires. They've just applied a little bit of tape securing the wires down. Um, and it's relatively clean. It looks pretty good. Now looking inside of the Ascender without the body, it's all very standard. You've got the uh, low profile kind of small pumpkin axles with a one piece uh, metal locker inside. All of our links are going to be aluminum with a three link setup and panhard in the front and a four link in the back. Um, our servo, our motor, our ESC, they're all gonna be waterproof, which is really nice. Um, the battery system on this Ascender uses the floating battery tray. Uh, I know this video isn't doing it justice right now, but essentially it hinges on the chassis back here towards the motor and then up towards the front, it actually pivots on a little link on the front axle and the battery tray moves up and down with the front axle. It gets the battery in the front extremely low. It's an interesting position that they've put it there. Now because of its small battery size, you're going to need a shorty battery pack to fit inside there. Uh, a shorty two cell lipo should do the trick. Now our one speed tranny here has all metal gears, which is pretty darn snazzy. Uh, 35 turn brush motor, I don't know if I've said that. This is a 60 amp ESC that is lipo and NIM compatible with a cutoff. Um, our plastic shocks are threaded. We have dual rate springs here. They are oil filled. Oh, and the chassis is adjustable if you wanna change your wheel bases. Now the one thing about this particular truck is this model is a bind to drive. So it comes completely assembled, painted body, it's ready to go, but you will have to supply your own transmitter. You will need a Spectrum DSMR or DS, DSM-X transmitter because we've already got our receiver in here. You just need to take your transmitter and bind it to this vehicle and you're ready to go. Additionally, you're also gonna need a shorty LiPo with an EC3 connector, and then of course, a charger for that battery pack. All right guys, I think we're done talking about this truck. We're gonna go over to the A-Main Hobbies retail store and go put this on their indoor crawler course and see how it does.
All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments for us, you can put that down below. If you want more info on this Ascender, we'll put a link down below as well for you to shoot straight over to the A-Main Hobbies website. My name is Brett, and thanks for watching.